Maybe you've never been on a golf trip to King Island in Tasmania. Maybe you have and you desperately want to get back there and you also want to bring some friends along with you. Well, either way, this video is for you because it's my top three golf holes at Ocean Dunes Golf Course. The best stretch of holes at Ocean Dunes is the first four holes. And we start my list on the short par three fourth. It's probably the course's signature hole, perched right on the rocky coastline. You might see some waves crashing onto the tee and even the green. There's a genuine thrill hitting your tee shot. The hole is only 130 meters from the back tees, but it's actually fairly difficult to hit the green. The putting surface is really wide, but it's very shallow. If you go long, you're fairly cooked. And if you're short, you've just got to hope that you carry the rocks in front of the green. And next up on my list is the drivable par 4 13th. The fairway is up on one of the highest points of the course and it bowls in on both sides. So it's fairly forgiving if you're just playing for position off the tee with maybe an iron or a, or a fairway wood, but it's a classic risk reward hole. Long hitters can have a crack at the green, which you can't really see from the tee. The green can be diabolical because it's a bit of a humpback green. So shots slightly right will roll off further right. And if you miss to the left or even find the left side of the green, the ball will roll down a huge swale, leaving a very precarious recovery. You can get a real variety of scores here. Good players will expect a birdie at a decent amount of the time, but if you're slightly offline near the green, the penalty is going to be more severe than most other holes. And last on my list, it's the very next hole, the Sharply Downhill Par 3 14. At just 126 metres from the back, it's already a very short hole and plays even shorter because it's so downhill but it's the exposed nature of the tee that can make it really difficult if the wind's up. And that difficulty is influenced by the pin position as well. If the pin's front, you might fancy your chances of a hole in one because it kind of bowls in on all sides, short, left, right, even at the back, there's a bit of a, a kind of a backstop there. But if the pin is back, not only is the hole a fair bit longer, it brings that left uh, green side bunker into play and there's no sort of bowl around the green. If you miss left, it kicks left. If you miss right, kicks right. If you're long, guess what? It just bounds down that hill and you can be left with a very difficult second shot. And if there's any sort of crosswind or headwind on this hole, my tip would be to practice your punch shots, put the ball back in the stance, abbreviate that follow through, keep your ball flight nice and low because that's gonna help you keep it online on the 14th. Thanks for watching. And if you haven't already, make sure you hit that big red subscribe button to follow Under the Cards golf content.